The son of the late Flint City Councilman Eric Mays has filed a lawsuit related to the handling of his father's remains. Eric Hakeem Dante Mays filed this lawsuit in 7th Judicial Circuit Courts. In it, his attorneys allege Lawrence E. Moon Funeral Home, along with other members of the family, have violated Michigan law, committed fraud and conspiracy in planning a funeral. And they don't have the legal right to the councilman's remains. Feel more or less just axed out. That's the best way I can put it. I see, I just want to give him, you know, the proper set up that he deserves. A hearing happened this afternoon in Judge Brian Pickell's courtroom. Eric Mays' son's attorney says right now everything is on hold. Judge Pickell did uh, rule in our favor with respect to our motion for a temporary restraining order. And so the purpose of that is at present to enjoin Moon Funeral Home from doing anything further with respect to Eric and his body and the funeral arrangements that have already been planned um, pending the outcome of another hearing which is set for Thursday morning. Funeral you know, arrangements and an obituary remain posted on the Lawrence E. Moon websites. We reached out to a family member who was named in the lawsuit and did not hear back. That court hearing on Thursday is set for 10 a.m. We're going to rejoice, we're going to celebrate, we're going to honor, we're going to remember our friend, our advocate, our fighter, our voice, Councilman Eric Mays. Over the weekend, community members held several vigils in Eric May's memory. This one on Saturday happened outside Flint City Hall. Dozens of people, including Eric Hakeem Deontay Mays, gathered for a candlelight vigil. The younger Mays, along with Bishop Patrick Munnerlin and friends and colleagues of the late councilman, all spoke while community members joined them in prayer. <laughs> Yesterday, a green and white balloon release was held at Hasselbring Park to remember Mays. Eric Mays' untimely passing is creating a vacancy on the Flint City Council. He represented the first ward for more than a decade. In accordance with the city charter, council is asking first ward residents interested in the position to send a resume or letter of interest to City Hall by 5 p.m. on March 18th. Council members will then decide on someone to temporarily fill the seat until a special election is held.